Anapana basically is pure melodic improvisation as you all know. So the idea is that we try to usher in the mood of the raga in our own minds as well as in the minds of listeners. Typically in Canadian music, the Alapana could range from a few seconds to even an hour or so. The entire approach of the musician should be to try and bring out the raga in every phrase and also ensure that traditions of other ragas are not made as much as possible, even though sometimes ragas do share close borders. I personally believe that whether it's Raga Alapana or Tanam or Karavel or Karpana Swaram or compositions, every phase we have to only aim to bring out the Raga. So you know, the Raga is paramount. Now when we talk of Raga, what are the main factors and characteristics that we have to really take care of? Number one is the, the scale of the Raga. By scale, I mean which one of the 72 major purpose it is or it belongs to. And then the sequence of the raga. That means whether it is Sarigama Padanisa or Sadi Madani Gapasa, every single change in the sequence, either an omission of a note or addition of an extra twist can change the raga in, in Indian music itself. So that is extremely important. And then of course the dhamakams that the raga employs, the kind of oscillated notes and the playing notes that it uses and where does it use, what kind of oscillation, in which context, etc. So let's take some practical examples say in Kalyani itself now and I'll explain some more characteristics also. Hmm. First let's start with the scale and the sequence. Both are same in this problem. Sometimes you can go to the higher note. So, let's 
try and sing some of these things with the flavor of alapana itself with akarans. Normally, in alapana we should try and use akaran as much as possible. The, the vowel R. Avoid other vowels. And if you are using syllables, try and use the and na, soft na, and avoid harsh sounding syllables like ra, ri, and all that. Yeah. Mm-hmm.